Welcome to an introduction to automotive. Today, with the help of the Mosaic 3D Simulator, we're going to be covering a basic overview of the parts of a car. We're going to be talking about the four-stroke auto engine, the parts of a cylinder, as well as what each stroke does within that engine. So to start off, let's rotate this car around a little bit. We're going to be looking at the front components. And so starting from the front, we're going to start with the radiator. Now, when we look at the radiator, so during the operation of the engine, the cooling water heats up and then releases the heat into the environment. This cools down our engine as it is running. The engine, which is the main power producing component of the car, the most common engine type is the four stroke auto engine and the rotating motion of the engine's crankshaft is transmitted to the wheels by the drive shaft. The gearbox is the next component and for the gearbox, it adjusts the ratio of transmission from the engine to the drive shaft. It changes the number of rotations of driven wheels during one turn of the crankshaft. And in low gear, the output of the engine is high, but the speed is low. And in high gear, the car is faster and uses less fuel, but it accelerates slower. Our next part is going to be the drive shaft. The drive shaft transmits the rotating motion of the crankshaft to the wheels. So as we rotate this around, you can see that it's rot this drive shaft is going down here all the way back to the gearbox. And that's what is going to rotate these wheels on the back side. Same thing on the front. You can see the drive shaft moves to the front. And as we rotate this around underneath, we can see where that where that box is rotating these wheels right here. So as we scroll around to the back side of the car, we have the petrol tank. So the petrol tank is where the fuel is stored. It's also called the fuel tank. An important attribute of petrol is the octane number. The higher the number, the higher the boiling point, therefore it can be compressed more, resulting in greater efficiency. Then we have the driven shaft. So the driven shaft is the rotation of the crankshaft is transmitted through the driven shaft by the drive shaft. Then we have the differential gear. And for the differential gear, during turning, is it allows the driven wheels to roll at different speeds. And finally, we have the exhaust pipe. Now the exhaust pipe is where all of those exhaust gases are expelled through the back of the car. So that is the basic parts of a car. And moving on to the engine now. For the engine, we have several different main parts. And we're gonna start here with the engine block. So the engine block is the metal block containing the moving parts of the engine. And then we're moving over to the gearbox. So it adjusts the ratio of transmission from the engine to the drive shaft. It changes the number of rotations of the driven wheels during one turn of the crankshaft. In low gear, the output of the engine is high, but the speed is low. And in high gear, the car is faster and uses less fuel, but it accelerates slower. We've talked about that before. The exhaust manifold is where the exhaust gases are expelled through this pipe right here. The ignition distributor, it ensures the coordinated operation of the spark plugs. Intake manifold is where the air necessary for combustion to be placed flows into the cylinder through this opening. Then we have the air filter. Air flows into the combustion chamber of the engine containing oxygen, necessary for the combustion process to take place. The air is cleaned by this filter. And you can see this filter is open right here. Most of the time it will be inside of its own air filter compartment. And then the final piece right here is the timing belt. It transmits the rotation of the crankshaft to the camshafts. And so now we're gonna move on to the cylinders. And so we're gonna go over here to the cylinders and when we click on the cylinder, you're gonna see that there's four main parts, pistons, crankshaft, camshaft, and valves. So as this is rotating around, it converts the alternating vertical motion of the pistons into the rotation of the crankshaft. The crankshaft drives the drive shaft and the camshaft through the timing belt. 
The camshaft operates the valves, which ensure fuel intake and expulsion of exhaust gases through a coordinated rhythmic opening and closing. As this rotates around, you can see that the linear motion of the piston is converted into the rotating motion of the crankshaft in the engine. The energy necessary to move the piston is provided by the combustion of fuel. The fuel used in the four-stroke auto engine is petrol, as we discussed before. This is regular gasoline. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into how the motor operates. And so there are four strokes. Stroke number one is the intake stroke. That's where the piston moves downward, decreasing the pressure in the cylinder. The intake valve opens. A mixture of air and fuel flows into the carburetor and into the cylinder. And so you can see this right here. Our piston went down, and this is that mixture of air and fuel. Stroke number two is the compression stroke. This is both the intake and the exhaust valves are closed. The piston moves upward, compressing the mixture of air and fuel, and thereby increasing its temperature. Stroke number three is the power stroke. This is where we get our power from, and that is where the spark plug ignites the compressed and heated mixture of fuel and air. The explosion pushes the piston down. And then final stroke, is going to be the exhaust stroke and this is where the piston moves upward the piston exhaust valve opens and the exhaust gases are expelled so when we look at the operation of our engine you're going to be able to see our stroke one stroke two stroke three and then stroke four and so this is how the four stroke engine work and so now we've talked about the parts of a car We've talked about the parts of the engine. We've talked about the cylinders and we've gone through the four strokes. I hope this helped you out. If you guys have any questions, please talk to your instructor and have a great day.